All right, there it is. The Green Worlds Twisted League is finally here. I'm so excited to start this. To be honest, I frankly have no idea what I'm doing, but that's what's going to make this series fun. For those of you who are out of the mix, Twisted League is pretty much like a dead man mode, but for skillers and PVMers alike on old school RuneScape. Everyone starts from scratch as an Iron Man locked in the region of Karen, and you have two months to complete as many tasks that get you points as possible, and these range from very easy to very difficult. This region of the game is very alien to me, so I'm going into this semi-blind. I did do a bit of research, obviously, but I hope you guys enjoy my playthrough. I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing this, and I hope you have just as much fun watching. I hope you guys enjoy this series. So the main thing I wanna do on the game is Slayer, so I'm going to pick the relic that saves me arrows and runes. I'm not gonna go for the one that gives me infinite run energy. Could this be the wrong move? I don't know. The thing is, I don't know, but we just picked our relic. We now save 85% of our runes and arrows. What comes next? I don't even know. All right, so I just found a woman not too far from the spawn. I'm just going to go ahead and pickpocket her. I mean, you can't really go wrong doing this. Free cash. The XP, by the way, is multiplied by five. So we're getting levels like crazy. We're getting hit as well. If we die, it doesn't even matter because we spawn like three feet where we just were. In times like these, it's always good to get some starter cash because you never know when you're going to have to spend it. Wait, I didn't even realize there was a cake stall literally right where I spawned. Okay, this is definitely where I have to be right now. Early game food is key. Everyone's dropping the cakes. Oh, I can't pick it up. I'm not an, I, we're all iron men. Oh my god. All right, so apparently we have to go to some guy named Veos who's going to give us a very important quest. I just wanted to get a full inventory of food. Now I feel a lot safer. All right, so we're going to start a quest called the Client of Karend. There should be a guy named Veos here. There he is. All right. Whew. That actually took me like a lot longer to find than it should have. Hello, sir. Can you give me some advice about Karend? All right, so the only thing required for this quest is a feather. So we got to find a chicken somewhere in this huge landmass and just get a feather. Okay, this is not good. I've literally circled the area five times and I cannot find a chicken. I need a feather. I'm actually spending 30 minutes to find a chicken. Oh, it's got to be in that dairy. It's got to be right there with the dairy cows, right? See, not being familiar with the area and not taking infinite run energy was probably a bad call because I'm wasting so much run. Just just not. Uh, are there no, are there no chickens? Is it just just cows? I, there's got to be a chicken in that hut. You've got to be kidding me. There's a cow in here. Oh, my God. Yes. Where are the chickens? Please help. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I can't even find it. I cannot find the chickens to complete this quest. Wait, there's a stall here right beside the bank that has cakes. This is actually an insane spot to just like farm food. I, I guys, I cannot find the chickens. So I've kind of given up on the chicken. I literally cannot find it to complete the Klein of Karend. While I steal these cakes, I'm gonna do some research on the wiki. So I've been dropping everything I get except the cakes because they do heal the most. We're at 30 thieving, done a couple trips. I've been asking people since I can't find online where the chicken is so I can do this quest. So I'm gonna go out and reattempt this. Dude, I'm actually so confused. We need a feather, that's all we need. But I can't find these folk. Oh, it's a squirrel. Someone just said south of respawn. Like, wait. It says it's in Hasidious on the guide, so I'm confused. Is it that thing that looks like a cow pen chicken coop kind of thing? Yeah, it's this. It's got to be. <gasps> I found the chickens. I've even highlighted them. Wait, it's actually going to be really hard to like grab one. There's so many people trying to get this feather for the same quest we're all trying to do. The feather has been acquired. Now we got to use it on the scroll he gave us. And we got to go get some signatures from the general store owners of all the cities. Apparently it's efficient to do this quest first because you get a book of like teleportation that takes you around the map. So can't go wrong, I guess. General store guy number one, please sign my paper. Apparently coming across a knife is super hard in this region. So we're going to trade Lagava. Gri gri okay, we're going to get a knife. I think the only other place you can get this is from the Winter Toad supply crates, if I'm not wrong. But ye. this is the second shop that's also very important, the farming stall. It has a spade and apparently clue scrolls are custom for this region only so it'd be really cool if we could solve those and a spade will be key for that is this like an armor shop sorry you got to prove yourself oh, okay oh that's not the general store owner okay this is 
What do you have in store? I'm probably gonna need this mortar and pestle because her lore. All right, second general store signature down. So yeah, we gotta go around to all the house families and then take this back to Vios after we're done. All right, so I'm just gonna start chopping some trees and making some fires. Apparently rushing 50 fire making and going to the Winter Todd skilling boss is really good. I can imagine it is. I have seen what it can give you and it is a lot of supplies. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here. So it's been a bit, we've just been hopping trees, making fires. We are 14 fire making, 19 wood cutting. It is kind of slow because the trees are so spaced out. For this game mode, I really wanted to specialize in killing monsters and doing Slayer. So that is something I'm gonna work towards slowly. I just wanna make sure I'm ready to actually start Slayer because there is a lot we have to do before we're gonna be Slayer ready. Noise, there it is, 30 wood cutting. I don't think it's smart to go to Willows with a bronze ax, but I will try it just for science. Oh, I was hoping to make some quick GP, but the arrow shafts do not sell for anything in the Grand Exchange. So apparently you can buy yourself a house from the estate agent in Hasidius and actually use the house there, which will be really, really good for late game content when you're doing farm runs because it's right beside a farm patch. So I'm gonna work on getting a thousand coins. Since I'm probably gonna be skilling a lot, I probably won't need the cakes this early. I got them way too early. Nothing's even hitting me. So I'm just gonna chuck them, chuck them all. Let's see how much we get. There are so many in the bank already. They only sell for five. Sorry, I mean in the shop. I'm gonna hop worlds to see if I can get something and sell it for a little higher. Let's see, in this world, it seems as if in every world someone's doing the same thing. Yeah, it sells for five coins either way. I'm gonna dump all of them. I just, I need the cash. So we have 400 GP, about 100 in the bank. I need to still get 500 coins here. I found the answer to our problems. Good old pickpocketing the man. Yeah, so there's a beer on the table here. So if I need a heal, I can just heal one from the beer. Should help a bit. But yeah, I'm really not trying to die here. My thieving is actually pretty high level now. So the beers from the table were not helping enough. What does this guy sell? What? Stews? And they're only 20 coins each. Okay, I'm definitely buying some of those. And jugs of wine. I think I just found the gold mine secret store. Oh my god. Now I have food that just heals my entire HP. Alright, now for some reason moving forward, the clips from this clip on of me chopping willows with a bronze axe. All of the audio is muted. And me from the future is going to have to commentate on them. And just watching back on my early grind in this game mode, since it's already been like a day and a half. This is just like the first day and I'm editing it. What the heck was I doing? So up until this point, my whole goal was to just get 50 fire making and rush Winter Todd, as that did seem like the obvious strategy that everyone was going for. And there it is, 50 fire making. I was pretty hyped. It took quite a while because I wasn't doing it the most efficient way, but that is okay. We are just playing this to try to get as far as we possibly can. After not being able to find a chicken for an hour, we finally completed Klein of Karend, which is a very important starter quest. It actually gives you a book with a bunch of useful teleports. Two EXP lamps that are five times EXP'd. I put those on crafting and construction just because I thought those would be the hardest to train. As for the free 20% favor you get, I put it in the Piscarilius region just because you do unlock the food store that sells raw food up to shark when you do this. Now, because in my bank I only had 20 cakes since I sold 80 off earlier in the video, which was a really bad mistake. I had to come back to the cake stall and I needed at least over 500 if I wanted to get 99 at Winter Todd. Because my original plan was to do a lot of PVM and Slayer, I shooted way over 500 and got close to 1000 cakes. I also unlocked some nice league task points for this so it was worth. I'm not really sure why I did this right after but I came to the Arceus house to get 20% favor to get a fire staff because I needed warm equipment even though it wouldn't have made a difference in Winter Todd. But it's completely fine because I would need this anyways for early Slayer training. With the 20% favor done, I realized that I couldn't even buy the fire staff because I did not have enough GP. So I had to find a method where I could quickly get around 1.3k. The method I came up with was suiciding to the Karen guards at the spawn point. They actually give 30 gold per pickpocket and since I already had high thieving, I use this to my advantage. I quickly worked up my way to 1.8k and then straight away went for the fire staff. 
which led me to another problem. There were only 10 worlds, a bunch of people were trying to play this mode, so the fire staff was out of stock, and I had to wait 15 minutes spam clicking it just like this to actually get it, and I ended up getting it. It was so clutch, the guy was there, he was about to steal it from me, but we ended up getting it, boys. For some reason, I decided to go to the Konar Slayer Master to get an unlit bug lantern, which I couldn't even equip because it was warm armor. It's okay, though. We can use it later, but yeah, I really was just... I did not know what I was doing. Winter Todd is probably the best thing to hit early game just because of the amazing fire XP it gives you, so you unlock a lot of league points just because the tasks to 99 fire making can be done in under like 10 hours, especially if you're hopping worlds and not fletching in the mini game. Since I hadn't really done Winter Todd in the main game, and again, Zaya is mostly new content to me. Not anymore though, I've done a lot of research and I've come a long way, but yeah, I had almost a full inventory at the beginning of my Winter Todd grind, not knowing that I only needed a couple of cakes. The first unique that I actually got was 15 burnt pages at 10 KC, which is actually really good because paired with the Tome of Fire, you can actually hit very high with the fire spells. At exactly 80 fire making, I got enough league points to level up my relic again to the second tier. This is the thing that permanently changes your account depending on what you pick. And for this relic, I picked Unnatural Selection, which lets me choose my Slayer task based on a choice of monsters that I pick at the Slayer Master. The main focus or end game of this series, if you want to call it, is for me to go out and do as much PVM content, get as many drops as possible and complete those insane PVM tasks no one thinks is possible. From Winter Todd, I had one thing I wanted and it was the Tome of Fire with some burnt pages of course so I could hit high with high tier fire wave spells. But with just at 50 kill count, I only managed to get a Bruma Torch at 39kc. You could call this unlucky but I think it actually is on par with the drop rate. I decided to stop at 50 Winter Todd kill count just because this was when you got points for the task being done and it was a little bit closer to that third relic unlock. Needless to say, the bank is looking a lot better than it was. I actually have some cash now, some herbs. I can actually train some different skills because I have logs, raw food, seeds. I think because I did not know what I was doing, Winter Todd starting out was a safe bet. My goal for this next episode, which is going to be lengthy because I have been grinding pretty hard the past two to three days, we're going to have the combat relic unlocked at tier three, and we're going to get 10 times the combat EXP in range, prayer, mage, all that good stuff. We're going to do as much Slayer as humanly possible, 